Well, after a rise, uh, recent rise in so-called special interest migrants from Middle Eastern countries caught at our border, some lawmakers are urging the Department of Homeland Security to strengthen border security as the war in Israel rages on. Joining us now, Florida Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna. And on this Veterans Day, we note that she met her husband while they were both serving in the United States Air Force. So, Congresswoman Luna, happy Veterans Day, as you see on our graphic. Thanks for joining us this evening. Thanks for having me on. What is the solution? We just heard some horrific things in that report from Bill Malusian. Uh, millions of dollars worth of, of deadly fentanyl, enough to kill probably millions of people smuggled into this country. Now, we caught this load, but we're not catching them all. You're absolutely right. In fact, just this year alone, over 2.8 million interactions with illegal migrants have happened at our southern border. In my opinion, we need to have a zero tolerance stance on illegal immigration. But one of the biggest problems that we're facing as lawmakers is that this administration is indeed already undermining the laws that are on the books. So we have to hold them accountable. And I will be supporting that privilege resolution to impeach Mayorkas because, frankly, this guy is a part of that problem. It doesn't seem like anybody at the Department of Homeland Security really cares too much about tightening up security at the southern border. No, and in fact, this is a creation of their own making. You know, remember, only a couple of years ago, Biden and Kamala Harris were campaigning on an open border policy, really being soft on illegal immigration. And now we're seeing the second and third order effects of that. And so I'm the first one to say that it is not illegal, uh, or excuse me, it is not racist or xenophobic to want border security. It's the most humane thing to do. And we need to continue to share that message. It's also not fair, frankly, to the people who are applying for for, you know, U.S. green cards the right way, you know, doing it from afar and going to embassies and so forth and, and waiting their turn. Um, we've got millions of people just walking across the border and, frankly, jumping to the front of the line. You are correct. In fact, this illegal immigration is, in fact, lengthening the legal immigration process. And not even just that, we have no idea where these people are coming from. There is indeed a very real national security threat. And as we're seeing with the tensions rising in the Middle East and now an increase in calling uh, for violence by organizations, terrorist organizations like Hamas, it is a very real concern. Yeah, we've seen uh, those so-called special interest aliens from countries that uh, like Iran, for instance, places that do not like the United States. We've seen huge numbers of their people coming across the border, and we have no idea what they're up to or what their intentions are. There we have countries like the Communist Chinese Party that are sending people here as well. And, you know, it's interesting to me, you know, as a member of Congress, as a minority woman, you know, I've been actively engaged in this conversation. But it's interesting that you're now starting to see the leftist controlled media really stop their uh, parroting, saying that, you know, we're racist and xenophobic because you now have Biden building small sections of the southern border. So we all know Trump was right on this messaging. And frankly, the Republican Party needs to, again, have a zero tolerance stance on illegal immigration. It is indeed hurting all Americans. Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, uh, Republican of Florida, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.